What's going on guys? Uh, just wanted to uh, hop on here real quick um, to do an unboxing video uh, for this new H1 mask uh, that I just found um, on eBay. So it is an H1 blank, meaning that it uh, has it's not cut, it doesn't have any hair, it's not painted, it's just flesh toned. Um, and I got kind of a funny story behind this. So um, I've been into Halloween basically my whole life, probably since I was uh, probably in elementary school. Uh, me and my brother used to just uh, watch scary horror movies and uh, Halloween happened to just be uh, my favorite, our favorite. So we just grew up loving Michael Myers. Um, back in those days, uh, you couldn't really get legitimate masks, right? The masks you can find were just really poor Michael Myers masks. I'm sure you guys know this. Some of those old Don Post masks that just really looked terrible. I mean, uh, they didn't look like Michael Myers at all. So the only way you can really get a good Michael Myers mask was uh, through the third party market. Um, this is before Trick or Treat Studios, you know, came out and started making these, you know, movie replica masks or, you know, really Justin Mabry started to make these masks that uh, replicated the real movie. So back in 2008, I was just graduated high school. Um, I wanted to, I, I was always Michael Myers, like in high school and stuff, I would dress up as Michael Myers. Um, but I wanted a legitimate mask. So I was on michaelmyers.net and I was looking for something affordable that I could wear, you know, not a six, $700 uh, movie replica mask that, you know, I wouldn't want to wear, just want to display it. But basically what happened was, is I found on uh, michaelmyers.net, uh, which is a kind of a cool, um, kind of a cool site if you guys haven't seen it already, but there's a lot of nice cool forums in there all about masks, uh, basically Michael Myers mask. That's about the only thing that covers. But anyways, um, I found a guy, um, it was called Jack in the Box Masks. And he had a website where you can basically order a, a mask from him where he, he custom made it. And from my understanding is he had the uh, Nicholas um, Art Gallery, I think it's called NAG. Um, he had the molds for the mask. So um, back then, um, I think it was like three months in advance. I want to say like in the summer of 2008, I, um, so I wanted it before Halloween. Um, I hit him up and um, basically it was like 120 bucks shipped from New York. Um, he basically created a custom mask for you. Um, you know, you can weather it how you wanted it. You can make the hair black. You can make the hair more blondish brownish um, you can have it just appear white look but um, anyways I ended up getting that mask from him and I wanted it weathered I wanted it brown hair um, and he even asked like how, how he even measured my he wanted me to measure my head to see like make sure he had the right size for me um, and he had like three different versions of the mask of, of Michael Myers of the shape and uh, one I chose was the madman so um, I've had that mask since 2008. It finally came, I want to say like four days before Halloween. And uh, to this day, that's basically my favorite mask that I own. Um, you can see it right over there. I, I brought it out. I still have the mask. It's kind of like the number one piece that I have in my collection, just kind of because of kind of what it means to me. So before we go into the unboxing here, I wanted to kind of show you real quick the Madman. So... Uh, this is the Madman um, mask that uh, that Jack in the Box Studio made for me back in 2008. Um, it's got a little bit of distortion right here um, just because it's 13 years old, latex. Um, it's going to happen. It goes away when you put the mask on, so I'm not really too worried about it. Um, and you can always stuff it if you want to display it. But uh, but uh, this is the Madman, uh, Madman 78. Um, just one of those masks that I really, really, really like. The camera's flipping out here. Uh, one of the, my favorite masks that I, I have in my collection, but, um, so that was the Madman. Um, like I was telling you guys. So the funny story is, is, um, I have, I didn't hear from Jack in the Box Studios for a long time after that. I believe in 2009 or maybe even in 2008. I think that might've been the last time they made masks. So he kind of went out of business and I didn't really hear from him. Um, so anyways, fast forward, um, it's 2021, um, last month, this month, November, um, a little bit after Halloween, I, uh, 
I was just on, on eBay. Um, at this point, I've already been collecting Michael Myers masks for years now. So I have, you know, maybe about 12 in my collection at the moment um, that I've been rehauling, doing things like that. And um, I, was on, I was on eBay and I stumbled across um, basically uh, this, uh, this seller named Blackjack99. And uh, he had a bunch of Michael Myers blanks. And I was, I was like, you know what? I'll think about getting one because um, I wanted to kind of start from a blank and just kind of recreate my own Michael Myers mask. And um, when I, uh, I ended up buying one, um, which is in the box, and the seller uh, was coming from New York and Black Jack, right? Jack in the box. I kind of was wondering, I was like, you know what? What if this is him, right? The guy's name is Andrew. Um, so I ended up uh, messaging him. I said, hey, I bought a mask from this person named Jack in the Box mask back in 2008. I'm wondering, um, are you him? Are you Andrew from Jack in the Box masks? And sure enough, it was him. And he was like, yep, you found me. You know, um, you know, I, I'm creating blanks now. I also sell a completely um, finished masks on eBay um, under the name Creepy Masks. So um, I was like, yo, that's awesome, right? And I, I kind of shared with him, hey, you know what? Uh, I actually still have your mask from 2008 that I still wear and I still display every Halloween. So um, pretty awesome how I kind of came back in contact with that guy um, just because he's the one who kind of got me into like the legitimate Michael Myers mask and he was the first mask that I bought. Um, so um, I wanted to do an unboxing for this one just because, um, you know, this is from him. This is a blank. I haven't seen it yet. Um, I got this about two weeks ago and I haven't opened it because I've been waiting to do the unboxing video. Um, but yeah, his name is Andrew Donato. Um, he's from New Jersey. So New Jersey, not New York, excuse me. But um, yeah, um, without further ado, let's uh, let's get the unboxing of this guy. I know I've kind of talked for a while now, but I feel like I had to share that story. Um, so I got my blade. I'm pretty excited actually to open this thing because um, from what I saw, it looks like it's a really nice sculpt. It's not the Madman. It's not the same sculpt as the one that I had. It's a different. Uh, it's a different sculpt. So it's just something I want to start scratch on. Scratch. Yeah. Taped it up real good. Thank you, Andrew. All right. So looks like it's in plastic bag. Stuffing, it looks like. Ooh, it's heavy. Alright, let's see. Okay. And check that out. Alright. So, this is. Let's pull the stuffing out just so I could. Uh, Kind of show you a little bit better. Oh, it still kind of has like the, the uh, powder on it. So here is a blank. It is flesh tone. I know it's kind of hard to see in the camera because I have my flash on it. But um, this thing is pretty awesome, man. Um, once again, eBay, uh, Blackjack99, uh, Andrew. Or you can go look up this finish mask, creepy masks. Um, but it's super thick, very thick, just like the uh, the one that I had from 2008, the Madman, which is awesome. So basically, what needs to happen to this is the eye holes need to be cut, obviously. Um, mouth slit, if you want. Um, small holes for the ears. Um, the mask needs to be trimmed um, to desired length, which honestly, I think as long as I trim it right there. I think it'll be fine. Painted, obviously. Weathered, painted. And then I think the hardest part is gonna be the hair. Um, I personally have never rehaired a complete mask. I've only fixed hairlines. Um, and this obviously is just a bald head, so it has to get complete rehair, um, which I'm gonna need to find out um, how to do. Maybe get some other YouTube videos on how to do that. Um, obviously, I gotta buy the hair. Um, but yeah, this is pretty awesome. Um, I think it's going to make a, a great Michael Myers just based on the sculpt of it. Um, it's got a good, 
good mold. I mean, it's got some good ripples in it. As you can see, as I kind of change the lighting, you can already tell that it's gonna look pretty badass once it's all weathered. But yeah, super excited to do that. I'm probably gonna post videos on status update of this. I'm probably not gonna be working on it right away just because I'm still working on my uh, each. Let me turn off this guy real quick. I'm still working on my uh, on my H2. Let me get the camera up there. Here's my H2 that I'm working on. Um, I've done the hair so far, but I still need to repaint it. So I'm gonna knock that guy out first before I uh, even attempt to tackle this. But um, stay tuned and thanks for watching. I'm sorry it was a little long-winded, but I feel like I had to share that story. Um, by the way, this mask is a um, NTF NTPFX. Um, I'm not exactly sure who that is or what that is. I'm sure that Andrew uh, buys the mold from other people, but you guys could probably, you know, look that up or maybe comment on who actually sculpted this guy. But um, once again, Andrew, if you're watching, thank you. Um, I'm gonna continue to buy from you if uh, I ever need any more or see how this comes out and if it comes out, I might buy more and redo them. All right, thanks guys.